Hello Bakers and welcome to DevCouch. Today we are going to check a new software for characters. The software is called Veroid Studio and it comes from Japan. Creating anime and stylized character is something which is very popular in the game dev industry and especially for projects that are being developed for the Asian market. And as we all know, most of the money and revenue that companies are making from mobile games is actually exactly from there. So let's throw the intro and go over some of the features that software gives us. One of the things that makes the software very easy to use, and especially for people that have a little bit of a drawing experience, is that you can use a tablet and simply use your pressure sensitivity on the tablet to create different type of textures and as well draw exactly what you want to do on the characters. You can create hairs, you can also paint on top of it, you can make quite a lot of things. And having tilt and pressure sensitivity on your tablet is going to be very, very important part so that you can create easily and faster your designs. The software came out a while ago, but last time that I checked it, the web page was still just in Japanese. And the only way that you can see inside what exactly it says was to use the Google Translate feature, which was not great to be honest. Now if you go on the web page, which you can find the link down in the description below, you will see that the page is already in English. There is also quite a lot of different tutorials how to start using the software and as well it has its own community from people creating different tutorials or helping others on forums. One thing for me that I always thought that it's awesome for softwares is to have sliders for customizing different features and different things, especially when it comes to characters. Veroid Studio has exactly this. It has some sliders where you can customize easily and fast height or other features of your characters. The characters are coming completely rigged and ready to do some animations. Another great thing is that you can export them and use them in different software. You can go either for 3D Studio Max or for some game engines, especially going in Unreal and finding some other content for environment that is already there on the Unreal market can make creation for some short cinematics and videos very, very fast. Also, if you're a fan of VR games, those assets can be used for VR because all of them are made for being VR friendly. Saying that it can be used for VR, this of course means that you can also create your own custom avatars, for example for VR chat, and use them there. I noticed that 92% of you watching my videos are not subscribed to the channel. Subscribe so that you don't miss all of the new tutorials and news. Another great thing about Veroid Studio is the constant updates that they are adding and new features and packs that you can extend the characters and add more different styles. You can of course do some completely customized ones, but as well you can use some of the presetted bundles and create quickly and fast characters for your project. Following some of the latest updates around Veroid is not as easy, although there is a quite good community already online and a lot of people that are English speaking and making tutorials, still the latest updates are coming in Japanese. So if you want to keep completely up to date, you will either need to use some translate or follow some of the forums or other people that are big supporters and fans from the whole community. I noticed that 92% of you watching my videos are not subscribed to the channel. Subscribe so that you don't miss all of the new tutorials and news. Thank you for joining me in today's video. I hope that you enjoy and like it. Leave a like and a comment down below. See you next time.